want to use discipline in training your dog, and I think that the term discipline is confusing to people. They associate it with like being harsh to the dog, and you can use discipline and be passive. And this is an example of that. That's you want the dog to sit proper. You want it want it to sit straight, right? When you say sit, you want it right beside you like this. Sit. But a lot of times the dog will be flared out. It won't be sitting like this. Here. And we'll use walls to correct this behavior. And if you're doing it repetitively, remember it's about muscle memory. That's mostly what it's about. But if you do it repetitively, you're using discipline. So you could use the wall passively. You could use the wall passively, meaning the dog is beside you, right? So if I'm back here, here heel, heel, the, the dog's sandwiched in. There's no place to go, down. So it ha has more of a tendency not to flare out. So keep doing that repetitively and the dog will get, get better at it and the dog will start being more how you want it, which is straight. You want the dog going straight forward. Remember, the dog goes in the direction of its head. If you're walking in this direction, the dog's head should be going in that direction. It shouldn't be looking around or doing anything. Down. That's good. Good girl. Heel. Down. Good girl. Good girl, Janie. Heel. Look at Janie. Jane! That dog's pretty cute. Turned on his camera after he fired. Police say what happened to that camera is being investigated.